Are you tired of seeing your 1080p webcam in SD in Zoom? Well, that's because Zoom is in SD by default, but you can turn it on to HD, but most people just don't know about it. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to enable HD mode for everyone in your Zoom account. Plus, you'll be able to get 720p and even 1080p video out of Zoom. So all this and more, coming up next. What's up guys, so excited to share this new feature that is so cool, but before we get started, just want to ask you guys to subscribe if you haven't already. Our YouTube analytics say only 11% of our viewers are actually subscribed. So if you hit that red button, it's free and it helps us grow as a channel. And I think you'll like what we're up to because we're doing some really cool stuff. So how do you improve the quality of your Zoom meetings? Well, there is a new feature called Enable HD that is inside of your Zoom account that you can click. Super easy. You just go to settings. You go to in meeting advanced and you can enable group HD video and you can activate this to essentially get higher quality video for the host and the participants. The only catch is that it uses more bandwidth. Well, that's not a big deal because looking at the notes from zoom, even this extra bandwidth necessary is only about two megabits per second. So obviously we want to click that button and get what we're paying for with zoom and get some nice HD video. So really quickly, what is HD video? Well, this is 320 by 240. This is 640 by 480. This is 1280 by 720. That is starting to become what people call HD. 1280 by 720 is HD. 1920 by 1080 is full HD. Now, in most normal scenarios, you are getting 320 by 240 in Zoom, and I'll show you how to check that. Maybe, you know, it's normal to get 640 by 480, but you're probably not gonna get 1280 by 720 unless you enable HD video on your account. And to get 1080p video right now, you must request access via your Zoom representative. So that's for business and enterprise prize clients. Now, what does this new group HD feature do? Well, for the time being, Zoom is basically SD by default. It can be turned to HD with this feature and it's activated when three or more participants join a group meeting. So you must be in full screen mode based on our testings. And you must also, and we'll take a look at the statistics in a moment, you must also kind of pin the video. So it's for that main person in the center there. That's what we're talking about getting uh, HD video for. We're not talking about everyone getting HD video at the same time. You can see here right now, it's at 640 by 360, but by playing with it, talking to our Zoom rep, we were able to get the resolution up to high definition. So that is the goal here. Um, so essentially, this feature allows us to enable group HD video, which we showed you guys how to get that, you're still going to want to hit that HD button next to your video. So if you go to your Zoom settings in the bottom, you hit video settings, you can click the HD button under your camera. And that just checks to make sure that Zoom has actually connected to the camera in high definition. Sometimes that'll zoom your webcam out a little bit, because electronic pan tilt zoom may be in place, which doesn't use the full resolution of your camera. So check that HD box. You can pin or actually more importantly, spotlight the video of the person that you want and you're gonna wanna be in full screen mode. So in full screen mode, when you spotlight the person you want, you should be able to capture them in what is called HD mode or what we're talking about here is 720p with group HD video enabled. Now, big note here, big catch. If you're a fan of the virtual backgrounds, Zoom says that they will cap you at 720p and probably 360p. So I wanted to show quickly what, how to even get to those video statistics so you can figure out you know, what you are getting at any given time. 
So I have a little um, example of that uh, right over here. And essentially, you can get to these the statistics tab here by clicking the up arrow next to the camera. And in statistics, you have the ability to click the video tab, and that will tell you what you are sending, meaning what the far end possibly might be receiving, not necessarily exactly, and what you are receiving. So if you're like us, and you're using Zoom to host these live streams, you know, in order to bring people into your live show, you actually want to receive 1080p video if possible. And in order to do that, you need to enable HD. You need to have them full screened and spotlighted for everyone. And that will give you close to that, uh, you know, that really we're looking for 1080p video, but 720p isn't bad. So once you've enabled this in your Zoom dashboard, there's not a whole lot else you need to do, um, except for going into those video settings and looking at the statistics to make sure that you're actually getting the video quality that you need. Um, we talked about enabling that HD webcam feature just in case you have an issue. And there's a few prerequisites that you should know about. First of all, you need to have like a paid account to get 720p. You need to be viewing in full screen and you need to be on a desktop client. For 1080p, I've put the request in for this. It needs to be enabled with Zoom support and you need an i7 computer or greater um, and you need to have like basically the latest Zoom client. Uh, also should mention that there's some bandwidth here, right? So 1.2 megabits per second up and down for one-to-one -one calls, 1.5 for up and down for larger groups. And then for full HD 1080p, it can go up to three megabits per second, which for a lot of people is not a problem. Now, there's a note that Zoom likes to let everyone know this is gonna use a higher amount of your CPU and a higher amount of bandwidth, but the video quality is worth it. Now, some of you may know that we have a new tutorial on how to do countdown timers inside of your Zoom meetings. That leads me to my final point, which I'm gonna make a follow-up video to complete. But essentially, um, I believe that you should be using OBS, vMix, or Wirecast for live streaming and then also recording your meetings. Because if you have a good 1080p video uh, camera, you should record in 1080p at a high bit rate. The Zoom recordings generally are in 720p, so not full HD, just regular HD. And the bit rate, you really can't control, and it's a very low quality bit rate. So our next video will uh, kind of dig into what all of that means and why it is important. Uh, but with that, I will leave you with this quick little outro video. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed that video. Now. Check out the next video where I'm really going to geek out about how to record in high quality 1080p video with OBS, vMix, and Wirecast, why you should be using OBS, vMix, and Wirecast for your live streams and for your virtual webcam output into Zoom and still use Zoom for what it's good for. But with all that being said, this is how we are now bringing in our remote guests into the Stream Geeks live shows that we host. This is called Live to Air, and it does give us the ability to do high bitrate 1080p video quality for our guests. I'm such a big fan of it. It costs about $500 for the software only version. We're really enjoying all the great features that it has. It's designed for high level live production. We still host a Zoom meeting to bring lots of people in because this can only handle four channels of 1080p video. I'll do another video on this. Let me know if you're interested in the comments below. Take the time to hit that like button and uh, thanks for watching guys. We'll talk soon.